I'm Eric Kraft, sales manager for Great Harbor Trawlers, and today we're going to do a walkthrough of the TT35. As you can see, the cockpit has lots of room, benches on both sides with cushions, lots of storage under those benches for bicycles, dinghies, whatever you might want to put under there, generators, sliding door, and a flip-up pass-through window from the galley. As you enter the boat to starboard, you'll see the galley. We have a two burner induction cooktop and a full size, home size sink there. Nice galley to work in. Mahogany cabinetry throughout, solid surface countertops in your choice of colors, and a large microwave convection oven. Teak and Holly soles with storage underneath, plus access to your fresh water pump, your hot water heater, and your batteries. Moving just a little forward, we have the door to the head. Now this boat is hull number two. As such, it's got some differences from the newer boats, but I'll try to point them out as we go. As we enter the head, you can see that it's got a separate stall shower. Now there would be a curtain there, but this particular boat does not have one. You can see the rod for the shower. Lots of room in the shower for a full-size human being. Nice, large vanity hot and cold water, storage underneath, rubber sole for easy cleanup, and this particular boat has an electric head which is optional. The standard head is a nature head composting head. Medicine cabinet, and we have a very large head especially for a 35 foot trailerable boat. This particular boat has faux teak and holly soles where the newer boats have real teak and holly. Aft of the head and across from the galley is the large refrigerator freezer. Now this isn't a dorm size boat refrigerator. This is a full apartment size Energy, Energy Star refrigerator with separate freezer. Lots and lots of room in it for whatever voyages you might be planning. You can see our V-groove paneling on the walls. That's a fiberglass gel coat finish, which is very easy to clean up. It gives the appearance of a New England beadboard cottage walls. As I said, lots and lots of storage. Forward of the galley is the standard settee on this particular boat. On some boats, customers have opted for things as diverse as a workbench, a separate uh, chart table with a full helm chair, and here you see our large convection microwave oven. Throughout this boat you'll see pleated blinds that pull down. All the windows can be covered. It's a very nice option package that works really, really well. Across from the starboard settee is the dinette. The dinette has a forward bench with flip-flop back. When it's in this position it's an aft-facing dinette seat. When you flip it the other way it's a forward-facing navigation seat. Get a good look at that dinette here. The dinette table itself flips open to become a large table for up to six people. In this position it's out of the way, folded, and also very comfortable as a two-person dining area. That whole table drops down into those cleats with filler cushions to become a very comfortable second berth in the boat. As I said, the soles on this boat are somewhat different than they are on newer, newer boats. Newer boats have teak and holly throughout. This particular boat has its large flat screen TV on the aft bulkhead above the dinette. There are several other places that that can be installed. Lots of overhead LED lighting and tremendous visibility out the back of this boat. Much more so than you would think from the helm being so far forward. Very nice folding drop down helm seat there, which you can barely see. There are wide walk around decks in this boat, and you can access, access them through the cockpit or also right from the side sliding helm door. Again, looking forward, you see more of those pleated blinds on the windshields. This particular boat has the standard Garmin electronics package, plus an optional proportional bow thruster, Garmin autopilot 
and electronic throttles. Nice step to step out through the helm door and you can see the flip up help seat very easily there. Also a flip up cleat, spring cleat on the side makes it easy to single hand this boat. Looking across, when the nav bench is flipped back to become a nav bench, you have a nice chart table with lighting. Very comfortable. Three people can sit facing forward there at the front of the boat and see out the windshields, see out the side windows. Great visibility, as I said, throughout this boat. Moving down into the master stateroom, you'll see an island queen bed. Now this is not a boat queen, this is a 60 by 80 full-size queen bed. 60 by 80 standard queen sheets fit on the bed and it's got a very comfortable memory foam mattress with lots of storage below. Both drawers and a trap underneath the bed. Forward of the bed, there's a lift up compartment for towels and pillows and that sort of thing and access to your chain and rope road, anchor road, forward. Four port lights and an overhead hatch mean plenty of ambient light in the master stateroom and hanging lockers on both sides aft. This particular boat had a washer dryer which has been removed and this space is being modified to the standard hanging lockers. As you can see they're quite large. This boat is for sale on our Yacht World website. If you go to Great Harbor Yacht and Ship Brokerage on Yacht World you can find this boat or just look up TT35 I'm sure you'll find it do a search. On the other side you have the hanging locker and above that hanging locker you have the electrical panels with all the breakers for your 12 volt and 120 volt appliances and systems. Both these hanging lockers by the way have traps below them for tossing shoes and flip-flops and that sort of thing to get them out of the way. So that's the tour of the TT35. I hope you enjoyed it. Go to our website www.greatharbortrawlers.com for more information and keep on the lookout for a walkthrough of a slightly newer TT35 coming up in the next few weeks. Thank you very much for watching.